हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इट इज चेन्नई मैथमेटिकल इंस्टीट्यूट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी अंडर ग्रेजुएट और बी एस सी एंट्रेंस क्वेश्चन पेपर आई एम सॉल्विंग इट फ्रॉम द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इसे पैटर्न हैज चेंज अ लिटल बिट इट वॉज ऑल सब्जेक्टिव सो लेट्स जम्प इन टू इट सो दिस इज द पार्ट वन सो ईच स्टूडेंट इन अ स्कूल हैज टू बी अ मेम्बर ऑफ एट लीस्ट वन ऑफ द थ्री स्कूल क्लब्स दैट्स गुड so it is known that each club has 35 members and it is not known that how many students are members of the two of the three clubs but it is known that exactly 10 students are members of the all three clubs so what a advanced level set theory has been given what is the largest possible number of the students in the school and what is the smallest number of uh, students in this school as well so let a b c are the number of students they have given um, are the number of uh, exactly All members of the any one of these clubs X Y Z. Okay, so let A comma B comma C means exactly A comma B comma C means exactly one of the clubs, exactly one. And maybe X Y Z be the number of students with the two or double membership. So, uh, so in this. structural pattern we can see that a plus x plus y equal to nothing but b plus y plus z if you put it in an in diagram so c plus x plus z okay so exactly one so is like a b c x so let me just redraw it okay c plus x plus z that is equal to uh 35 minus 10 so 25 so this is 10 so you want to find the maximum and minimum number of values of n that is a plus b plus c plus x plus y plus z plus 10 Okay, so adding the three uh, constraints, we get that a plus b plus c plus two x plus two y plus two z equal to seventy five. We can get so that gives a equal to eighty five minus only comes down to this thing x plus y plus z. Now the maximum possible a cannot be more than eighty five. So a has to be less than eighty five, and it is achieved when x equal to y equal to z equal to zero. And a equal to b equal to c equal to twenty five. So for the this is the max. So now the for the minimum value of n, we need to maximize x plus y plus z has to be max. So which can be at most most value is thirty seven point five because if we could take a equal to b equal to c equal to zero. So hence the most of thirty seven as it need to be an integer. So max is here thirty seven. So this is uh, achieved by saying a equal to one, b equal to c equal to zero, x equal to y equal to twelve, and z equal to thirteen. So that gives minimum thirty-eight here and plus ten, so forty-eight. So the minimum value is forty-eight, maximum value is uh, eighty-five. So the first one is done successfully. Let's go to the next one. Let P be the plane. Consisting of vectors six, six, nine, and seven, eight, ten. Okay, two vectors. Find the find a unit vector that is perpendicular to two minus three, four, and that lies on a plane P. Okay, and we have to note that all vectors considered in the line segment starting with the origin zero, zero, zero in a particular origin of P. Okay, so not much. So the desired vector is in the form V. So T into six, six, nine, S into seven, eight, ten. So this is sixty plus seven s comma sixty plus eight s, and this is ninety plus ten s. And we need zero equal to v dot two minus three comma four equal to two into sixty plus seven s minus three into sixty plus eight s. Four into ninety plus ten s, so thirty t plus thirty s total, and that is equal to zero. 
so this is taking if we take s equal to 1 and t equal to minus 1 we get the answer as 1 2 and 1 and scaling it to a vector will give you this value plus minus 1 by root 6 2 by root 6 and also 1 by root 6 hence uh, the origin lies in the plane p so the unit vector that is perpendicular to this is this one okay now let's move to the next question that is a3 calculate the following two definite integrals it may be useful to first sketch the graph okay sketching will not be much of a requirement here we can do it directly interpreting the first thing log of mod x dx so this is we know this x log x minus x plus c and the second fundamental theorem of calculus so 1 by e square log of mod x dx so this is x of log of mod x minus x 1 to e square so this is e square plus 1 e square plus 1 so for the second integral because this is there is a discontinuity at x equal to 0 so we need to break it up into two parts okay so so the antiderivative of log of mod x by x is this square of a uh, by 2 so as x tends to positive so log of x tends to minus infinity so the integral from 0 to 1 is so 0 to 1 is minus infinity and it is the same for the negative side because of the integrand is even so integrand is even so the final answer is minus infinity okay so it is an undefined or does not exist okay that's it for this video in the next video we will solve after a three